Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create 808 bases in Reaper. Now the idea of an 808 base was originally based on an 808 drum machine using a very low end frequency as a kick drum. But over time, people started using it as a bass, adding a pitch to it so you could actually play a bass melody. So I'm going to show you how to do that in Reaper, using just the plugins that come with it. Let's start off making a new track. We'll name it 808 Bass and give it a color. I usually prefer a blue for bass. Then I'm going to change the input on this track to MIDI and my USB MIDI keyboard. Then I'll turn on input monitoring, put it into record, and if I play my keyboard, I should see level right over here on the meter. And I do. So I need to put an instrument on this track. And luckily, Reaper comes with a synth, even though it's a very simple one. Let's go to the effects, and let's go to the Reaper plugins right here, and choose Rea Synth. And like I said, this is a very simple synth, which starts off with a simple sine wave, like this. But if we play low notes, it sounds much deeper. And we can make it sound even deeper by adding in a lower octave. So we're down here to the extra sine wave and change this to minus 1200 which is the lower octave. They're bringing the level of that sine wave. Bring it up a bit to about 60, and let's hear it in the bass range. Nice and deep. So now we want to add some distortion to bring out the clarity in this sound, making it easier to hear or cut through in the mix. So let's add a distortion plugin after this. Type in distort. Now we're going to use this plugin right here called Wave Shaping Distortion because it comes with Reaper, but here's a great time to really experiment with different distortions. You can use an amp simulator, like for a guitar amp, or anything that adds color to our sound. But again, we'll use this one and bring up the distortion right here. Right about there feels good. Around 81. Now we can add an EQ to bring out certain frequencies. And again, you can use any EQ you prefer to try different colors to change the sound. But we're going to keep it simple and use re EQ. Right over here, re EQ. And we're going to focus in on the mid range first. And reduce some lower mid range to make it sound fatter. Before and after. And again, you can change this to your personal taste. But now we need to add an 808 kick drum on top to give it some attack. So let's add another plugin. We'll go to the Reaper ones and choose Resample Matic 5000 which is the sampler that comes with Reaper. And we'll get a sound from the Media Explorer, which is going to show me my hard drive. I'm going to choose in my sound library, an 808 library I created. Now you could use any 808 kick you prefer, 
as there's so many to choose from, which you can download free on the internet. Let's hear these. That one sounds pretty good. It's nice and long. Let's drag this in to here. Now, if we play our bass sound, we're going to hear a kick on the attack. But first, bring down the level of our bass using the gain on the EQ. So we'll just hear the kick. Then we can bring it up. Bit more. Sounds pretty good. That kick drum gives an attack to a bass sound. But another thing that's very common in 808 basses is the ability to pitch bend them over time. And by default, Rhea synth only goes down two steps, like this. I want to bring it down a full octave. So what we can do to go around this is to first turn off the pitch bend by adding a MIDI filter. Search MIDI filter, MIDI note filter, and bring it up before our synth. That's going to turn off any notes up here, but it also turns off any continuous controller information that we have. So if we leave this on no, our pitch bend isn't going to work. But now we can control the pitch bend using automation. So let's go back to the synth and touch the tuning on the plugin. Go to parameter and choose learn. Then we can move our pitch bend and it's going to learn that function. So now, if I adjust the pitch bend, it's going to adjust the tuning on this plugin. Giving us those bass dives that are pretty typical with 808 basses. So now we're ready to record a part. But if we go into record on this track, it's not going to record that pitch bend. We need to record automation at the same time. So let's right click over here and switch it from trim read to touch mode. So it's going to record the automation or our pitch bend as we play the MIDI. And to get our MIDI better in time, let's right click over here and choose track recording settings. Then I'm going to quantize on the way in right here to eighth notes. This way I don't have to quantize afterwards. So now we're ready to record our first part. I've already put down a synth and a drum part that we can play over. Let's give it a shot. Sounded pretty good. Now quantized on the way in, but we could also readjust our automation right here, which affects the pitch dive of the bass. So let's hear it back. So I think you get the idea of how to create this effect. Like I said, you can get very creative with it by switching up the type of distortions or readjusting the EQ. So that's creating 808 bases in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time.
Thanks. Oh!